Hi guys, Tin Man here. Uh, this is uh, my new setup. Another part of my complete HHO setup that I've been playing with, as you would have seen. Um, so far, I've got my cell made. Managed to get the exhaust loop back to the inlet. Uh, apparently, it had holes in it, but anyway, it was what it was. Um, a big thanks goes to Russ as well. Over there at rwgresearch.com Go check out his work if you haven't already Some really unbelievable stuff over there And he's got some very neat equipment as well um, Since that promo video Russ I've had a lot of people join my channel Many questions, many comments To all of you that joined my channel Thanks very much for your support um, And your comments I am trying to answer the emails and comments as best I can, but no doubt I'm missing a few. If I miss yours, I do apologise now. You will also notice um, the experts have turned up as well and started posting comments on how my machine that I built works. But anyway, more power to you. Um, you seriously take the fun out of things. Just because you can't do it doesn't mean it can't be done. So, a couple in particular, dead set on HHO not working and can never work. Their theory is uh, you rob more power from the motor than you put back into it with your HHO being injected into the engine. Um, and apparently there's no way you can get power out of a motor without adding a load to it and using more fuel. And with the production of HHO apparently this is going to use more fuel than you produce so well, I'm sorry guys I'm about to prove you wrong um, one big flaw in their thinking uh, they follow the set laws of physics and as we all know laws are meant to be broken and if they can't be broken then we find a way around them without breaking them now, it's the second part that I have done. As you'll know, with an internal combustion engine, a lot of its energy that it gets from the fuel is wasted in heat. So, all we have to do is turn that waste heat, which is your exhaust, into energy that we can use. Um, and in this case, we're turning it into current, volts and amps in this little box here. Now the setup I've got here um, I have this is my fuel tank and I have my set amounts of fuel so I can get accurate measurements on the engine running per normal. Um, I have a 100 watt load in the way of a globe on it that's all I have on it. Uh, just so it had some sort of load on it uh, So yeah, just a test with that set load a set amount of fuel Running through the exhaust as per usual and then the same test done again running through a little box of tricks in here Now the exhaust comes out into a T-piece goes through this ball valve and into the muffler and then through this T-piece, through this ball valve and into our box of tricks so I can shut this one off open that one up and send the flow of exhaust through here and that is what's going to produce our electricity we're going to turn heat flow into electricity with this little box now I've got it hooked up to a battery here uh, with the meter on this one I've already charged charged it up quite well. This battery here is not so happy. I believe it has a cell in it that has dropped. As you can see it's only 4.35 volts in there. It shoots up to about 20 volts and then starts to slowly come back down. It will take a charge but it loses it again within the period of about 12 hours. So I am trying to recondition it with the SSG but so far not much luck so from our battery 
um, we're hooked up to our little box here also my meter is hooked up to this box I've done it this way so I can disconnect the battery show you the open voltage this is producing uh, the current isn't very much it's only about 100 milliamps but there is only one module in this box uh, a little hint it's actually out of a microwave oven the material you can use to produce the power from heat so that's what we're going to do I'll start it as per normal I'll open this valve switch off that one send the exhaust through here it is going to be loud so you probably won't be able to hear me because I have no muffler on this side and it's still pretty loud with the muffler anyway so what I'll do now I'll switch this off start the motor I have to do use two hands because I'll pull it straight off the stand if I don't so back shortly okay well I don't know if you can hear me but we're up and running we're just going through the muffler at the moment as you can see nothing going into the battery I've got a little light here that's not on now I'm going to open this one, close that one, and we'll have a look at the battery. So as you can see, we're producing um, some form of current. It's not a lot, like I said, there's only a very small module in there. Um, but however, as you've seen, it was there. And we are producing electricity from the waste heat of the exhaust. So having a bigger unit, either hooked up to a big set of batteries, or to a HHO cell, you are going to produce HHO at no expense to the fuel or the power of the motor and no matter how you look at it, if you are injecting HHO into a motor it will certainly increase your fuel economy and this way it can be done at no cost to the fuel in or the power of the engine so it's really just a matter of stepping back and thinking outside the box don't get stuck on what other people tell you um, I'm one that if someone tells me it can't be done as most of the guys in the forum will know I go and do it that's just because of who I am uh, to the non-believers out there telling me how my system does work and uh, what will work and what won't I've had one clown tell me that before and well let's just say you got left behind so anyway guys um, this is how it can be done this is how you can produce electricity from an internal combustion engine any internal combustion engine any sort of fuel as long as it pushes out heat it can be converted into electricity I will um, open source this uh, probably through Russ on his um, channel there but I would like to make a bigger unit and perfect it before I go 
posting any schematics or build diagrams on how it's done. Uh, I like to make things that do work and they work well before I go throwing them out there and this will be no different. Okay, well, cheers for now and we'll catch up with you soon.